Welcome to this UTrain video on a method called train. This method is part of our category on team building, group dynamics, and outdoor activities. The method train is used for group building in training or other educational activities. The method creates a group challenge and provides the group opportunity to practice making strategy together, coordinate among each other, and build trust in interactions together. It's important that the group already had a few icebreaking activities before performing this method. For the train method, you need to have enough space in the room, or you can implement this method outside, as we demonstrate in this video. You will need blindfolds or scarves, one blindfold less than the number of people in the group. We recommend this method for 12 to 20 participants. The method lasts around 60 minutes, including 30 minutes for debriefing. Here, Yulia will guide you through the method. Like a lot about this activity that it can be performed outside, and you should very carefully prepare the space to check that there is nothing that can be dangerous for, for people who are blindfolded. You need to ensure that there is enough space for the group to move around and also that there are no sharp objects or something that may uh, be not safe. First, uh, you give uh, the instructions to group. You need to tell them that they are going to perform activity as a, all together as a group. They will stand in line. So the group will have to go from point A to point B and all of them will be blindfolded except the one who is standing on the back. So he or she will be able to see what is going on. The group will have this at the time to decide upon the strategy, how they communicate to each other because they will not be allowed to communicate verbally and also they need to decide how long it would take them to get from this point A to point B. And this will be the challenge that they are taking. So they decide themselves the time that they want to perform the task. We as a trainers, we create some more uh, obstacles, for example, or change a bit the direction. In the same time, of course, we should be always keeping them in the full view, the whole group, and it should be at least two facilitators. So the briefing is very crucial part in this method. You cannot just simply do the train uh, method and then go further. In the debriefing, you uh, should focus first on the emotions that this method causes for people. Then you also uh, focus on the group interaction, how they felt uh, with each other, how they interacted, communicated, and uh, how generally comfortable they are feeling within the group. In the session outline file, you will find examples of questions for debriefing. I like this method because it's creates a common group challenge where everyone is involved and people can also try it out, see how it goes, then um, discuss it a bit and then also try it again and to improve. Also, this is a very enjoyable activity for the group because it really gets the feeling of, yes, we did it. So I wish you to enjoy it together with the group. Thank you for watching. On the description box, you will find links and support material to implement this method. UTrain is co-funded by the Erasmus Plus program of the European Union. For more videos on non-formal education, please check out our channel and subscribe.